Shamlock and Lord Pendleton are in the courtyard. I expect they'll want to congratulate you. Alive. Thank you, Corvo, thank you. My uncle's a good man, and one day he'll prove it. Here. I know you did this for the right reasons, but I want you to take this as a reward. It's an old heirloom one of my aunts gave me. take down the Lord Regent and all of his key allies. You know that. Yes. Hopefully the High Overseer is the first step along that path. And we must find a girl. Emily. Poor thing. Who knows what her mind is like being there when her mother... You did it! Somehow you took down the High Overseer Campbell against the odds. I knew you were our man, Corvo. With Campbell gone, we've hurt the Lord Regent immeasurably. And with Martin back, we'll have the finest strategist alive. The Lord Regent must be shitting himself in Dunwall Tower. Yes, and Campbell's journal, let's not forget. Our hope is that in these encoded pages, the location and condition of Emily Caldwin can be discovered. Our entire movement will mean nothing if we can't place the rightful heir on the throne. We must act fast. No doubt the Lord Regent is holding Emily somewhere, waiting to reveal her, to step out as the hero and further cement his regency. If he doesn't bring the young lady forth soon, there will be infighting among the nobles as to who should succeed the Empress. Yes, time is against us. But now you should take a well-earned rest, Corvo. We will decipher the contents of the High Overseer's journal and share them with you later. Whiskey everywhere in this place, but good wine is hard to come by. Sailors tell tales of monsters far out to sea. But I'll tell you, there's strange things in this river no one talks about. Lights in the water late at night. I've seen faces, too. Can I be of service to you?
Can I be of service to you? Do you mean to tell me you don't know how to curtsy properly? Please, sir. I was never in service with a noble. That's not an excuse. You need to learn proper decorum. The Helm Pits has seen a few lords and ladies in its day. If they were here, I expect they didn't want to be recognized, sir. Never mind that. Lord Pendleton ought to be shown the respect he deserves. He doesn't require it, but he notices. Yes, sir. Sorry. But even so, have you forgotten we may soon be guarding a future Empress? You will be in the presence of the most important person in the entire known world, and you don't know how to curtsy. But she's just a child, and she's not even here. No one knows where she is. Well, our masters are just the people to find her, I'll have you know. Please know your manners before then. You are reminded that assaulting a member of the City Watch has been made a capital offense, and guardsmen are authorized to carry out the sentence on the spot. The offender's possessions are legally formal. It is every citizen's duty to report treasonous speech and actions. The state depends on you. The Ascendancy Circle has entered the second deliberation spiral. Until such time as a new High Overseer is chosen, we enjoin the faithful to keep to the strictures. Hello, Corvo. I expect Martin will be joining us shortly. I hate to start your day with such a strange matter, but the servants heard something last night, moving through the storm drains beneath the building. Most likely a weeper, the poor bastard. There's no hope for them once the plague gets that far along. Nothing more than a shuffling corpse full of sickness and insects, if you ask me. I'd appreciate you investigating, just to be sure it's not a nosy guardsman that's getting too close. Here's a key to the hatches. I'd send a servant down there, but they'd die of fear on the spot, I'm afraid. Maybe Piero can concoct some sort of sleep poison for your crossbow if you want to go that route. Ah, 
Hello, Corvel. There. You are reminded that assaulting a member of the City Watch has been made. 